Good afternoon, First ARP Church. I am Billy Marino, and I'm here with Pastor Matt Kukin. Happy New Year, everybody. Happy New Year to First all. five at first in 2023. Of the new year, yes. It's a big one. So thank you for joining us today. Uh, I'll begin with a couple updates for you all. So as you know, I shared with you some information a couple weeks ago about that space between the education building and sanctuary called the Breezeway that we're going to be doing some updates to. Um, we're going to be, you know, redoing the railings and redoing the support system underneath that part um, just to make it long term more, um, I guess, feasible yeah. um, for us to use. So this week they had, uh, it has began, the process has began, and they went ahead and um, took down the railings to have them um, sandblasted and powder coated. So it'll be um, able to endure the weather and just to, you know, give it more of an update since they weren't looking so hot. Yeah. Um, with that, we will be putting up some support um, along the columns so you can still go through the breezeway from the sanctuary to the education building and vice versa. We just ask that you be careful while you walk through and if you have any small children, just be careful with them as well. And no backflips off of the breezeway. If we can save those until after the railing, <laughs> I think that would be good. But um, it's exciting that this work is um, beginning mm -hmm. and within the next couple weeks, the support system and the new brick wall on the side of the um, breezeway will be Back completed place, as no. well. And we'll, we'll keep you updated on that so you know what to expect when you come. Yes, thank you for your patience. Yes, thank you so much for your patience. Um, and lastly, I'm very excited to share this because this is, this is great news. So since our letter went out roughly December 8th or so about um, the donor that would like to match up to $50,000 towards our Seeds of Eternity Capital campaign, I'm happy to say that um, just from our congregation alone, excluding the $50,000 from the donor, we raise one hundred and six thousand four hundred and sixty one dollars. That's awesome. Praise God. Praise God. That's awesome. And so we're slowly but surely seeing that balance come down and it's going to enable our ministries so much more room to um, do what do what they do. Yeah. Right. Um, yeah. This year um, we won't be as um, tight, tight in our budget our budget and yeah. we'll be able to do the things that we, we need to do. Yeah. And it's great too because we're growing, I know. right? And that's always a great thing to see the church grow. So and thank you to all of you who um, just prayerfully contributed in in any way to that fund, and just for the prayers too, and the support. It's it's just amazing to see God God work through the generosity of this congregation. It has been awesome. Thank you so much. Well, speaking of generosity, that's been the theme um, of the beginning of this year. Uh, I've been praying about how the Lord would have us you know, start this year in a sermon series. And the Lord laid on my heart a series on generous living. So we started that last week. We'll be doing two more weeks. The first week was foundations of generous living. This week will be the practice of generous living. And third will be the benefits of generous living. Um, but as part of doing this series, I was reminded of a opportunity that our denomination has through a partnership with World Witness, our missions agency, and something called Lifestyle Giving. Uh, basically, it's a resource that can come in and speak to your church about biblical stewardship, um, and especially uh, about um, stewardship in estate planning, and um, how do we look at stewardship long term, planning for stewardship in difficult times, planning for stewardship at end of life, um, and, and talking about some of the um, opportunities to do that that is far beyond my pay grade in regards to financial expertise. So on January 15th, at 5 p.m., it's a Sunday, um, we're going to have some hors d'oeuvres and have Bruce Owen from Lifestyle Giving come and give a little talk. He's entitled to House in Order. How do we keep our house in order spiritually, but also with stewardship? And um, it'll be great for, for anybody who wants to think more about stewardship in their lives. If you have young kids and haven't really thought down the road of estate planning, or if you've already done that but want to, to learn some more, Bruce is a wonderful speaker. Sabrina and I have personally benefited from the presentation and the process. Um, they're not selling anything. It's just a resource that they offered to us That's amazing. to learn. So um, you'll get an email about that today. Uh, you can RSVP to Beth Francis, our activities coordinator. But please put that on your calendar. Sunday, January 15th, 5 p.m., an hour, hors d'oeuvres, and a presentation by Bruce. And we'd love to have you take part in that. But again, I'm just overwhelmed as usual by the generosity 
of our congregation. Absolutely. And uh, and with time, talents, and treasure. And so looking forward to a great year. Yes, me too. And I didn't mean to cut you yeah, off. I was just thinking too. I mean. This work that's being done on the church would not be possible without the generosity of our yep. congregation as well. So thank you so, so yep. much. Thank you for your generosity of time watching Billy and I. Five minutes. It's uh, a lot of time. It's a lot of time. All right. Take care, everybody. Thank you so much.